This afternoon, as I was thinking about Troy, it occurred to me that Troy on occasion would text me. And uh, as I was thinking uh, about Troy and thinking of things that he would say if he were here, uh, I realized I have some words on this phone that sort of reflect his heart toward me and his relationship with the Lord and his love for the church. Um, there's all kinds of things we would text back and forth over, but um, I have one here from Sunday, July the 14th, um, and I just want to read it to you. He said, I hate to text you. This is right after I preached. He said, I hate to text you, but I really wanted to tell you that the last few weeks you have been on fire. You are truly telling us what we need to hear, and I just wanted to tell you I love you. And I pray for you every day. And I responded because that particular day, I think our students had come back from a mission trip. Uh, Trent oh, was able to speak that day and to share. And I said, thank you, brother. Uh, by the way, your boy did so good today. He knocked it out of the park. You guys should be so proud. And he goes, we are so very proud. And he says, and so thankful for the most amazing church you lead. I love you and thank you for all the opportunities you give to the youth. And then earlier this year, um, on Sunday, February the 9th, um, we had a discussion. Our church family is, we've got some exciting things happening in the life of our church. We've got some renovations that are coming. Uh, they're happening in a couple of phases. One is happening next door. We're getting ready to begin those in the next few weeks. Eventually, we're going to come in here and do some renovation and do some discussion about pews. And he joked with me. He said, he just sent a text. He said, I really want a pew, maybe two or three. And I said, you can probably get 10. He said, LOL, I really want to tell you how excited it is to be part of our church. So excited. And I could go on and on and on. Um, as I've reflected upon him and the way he was such an encourage, encourager to me, you know, to me, Troy wasn't a, just a church member. And we love all of our church members. But for me personally, he was my friend. I'm sure many of you could express the same sentiment, the way that he would focus upon you and give direct attention to you. Uh, he made it a point every Sunday when he was present uh, to speak to me. He had to speak to me, and if I didn't get to speak to him before the service, he would hang around, even to the last person if he needed to, to come by and just to speak to me. When we were meeting outside in our drive-up worship, uh, he would often just wait till all the cars would, would disappear so he could finally come by, roll down his window, and express uh, his, his love and appreciation uh, for us. He always had an encouraging word for me. I do not recall any moment that he complained about anything to me. But it was always, I appreciate you, man. I'm excited for you, man. I love you, man. And um, I love the fact that he embraced his, his disability with his arm and calling himself the one-armed gorilla. I was thinking, as I saw the sign down here, he's probably loved and hugged more people with that one arm than most of us do with two, don't you think? And um, so we have much to celebrate and Troy wanted this to be a celebration. He wanted us to celebrate and so I do am mindful that, that this can be a hard moment for those of you who love him and, and are uh, struggling with, with his departure. So I want to encourage you um, and remind you that all is well with Troy. I mean, he is not here, but that doesn't mean that he's not somewhere. In fact, he is in a very particular place. He is with the Lord Jesus Christ. He may have passed from us here, but he is alive and he is well and he is with his Lord. That's why we celebrate today. Now, 